I wanted to talk about one of the games that mm. holds a special place in my heart, mostly because I had never played it, but <laughs> I got addicted at a young age to the free stuff blocks guy. Remember? Oh, that's we right. That. We yeah. did talk like, about free that. Stuff blocks. Free stuff <laughs> blocks. Yeah, that guy. Um, so then it took like years. And I was like, oh, that's a game. And then there are people that uh, then I tried the game. I was like, oh, this game's actually probably one of the earliest MMOs, right? Is that fair to say? I mean, it's up there. Yeah. It's it, up there. At least online, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's one of the earlier ones. I mean, this is old this is old school RuneScape, which was after RuneScape classic, but not too long after. Um, but yeah, it's so I mean, I played a ton of classic RuneScape. RuneScape is like pre-World of Warcraft, you know, like era. But it, like I think you probably would have played. There's also EverQuest. There was right. a guy who I used to hang out at the West Bend Theater. And there was, um because all my friends worked there. And then we would, like, um go on the roof and, you know, and then eat uh -huh. come back in, eat a bunch of movie theater popcorn and watch movies. We would always go down there, like, on Thursday nights before the new movies came out. And then everyone would get, like, lifted. And then we'd watch whatever movie was supposed to come out the next day. Um, also, anyway, uh there used to be a guy, I'm going somewhere with this story. There's a guy <laughs> that worked there named Ted, who was like obsessed with EverQuest. And then so we would make fun of him. Now I look back and I'm like, but I like, now I played World of Warcraft and I right. like EverQuest. But I just remember always being like, EverQuest! <laughs> like we would, I don't know where that ever came from, but like we would, every, every time anyone saw him, he probably like hung himself. I don't know. <laughs> So many people are doing it. I would just be in the office, like talking to my buddy, and I'd be like, EverQuest. And I was like, oh, and I look out and somebody making fun of him. Anyway, EverQuest. That was also an early one. <laughs> well, yeah, the MMO nerds got so much hate. Like, uh, that's a thing is we're the you Warcraft get nerds were for being crushed too, yeah. Yeah. And and so I think a lot of people forget that because gaming's gone so mainstream. Um yeah. but yeah, back in the day, we got made fun of and and picked on for for being gamers <laughs> yeah i didn't start like gaming in in earnest till i got my first pc mm -hmm. and then so like i started with uh and then we lived out in the country so i could never play an mmo because it was always right. like, we oh. never had even when i graduated high school when the whole world had high-speed internet we didn't it wasn't available where we lived yeah and um so i could never play these games like we used to be able to do i even tried to do this thing where you could bond by a second phone line uh -huh. and you would you'd use a dual modem and the both modems would call in and it would bomb the signal so i could get all the way up to 33 3 if with two 56 k modems <laughs> but the ping would be like two or three hundred so i couldn't i couldn't play anything right but anyway uh i started with like quick two unreal tournament edition um those games so i missed runescape and i never played everquest because we didn't have internet like i couldn't you know like we we just I probably would have got into it, you know, mm -hmm. but I was also slaying chicks too at the time. Oh, so, of course. You know, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Uh, four touchdowns in one game, Pokai rules. But anyway, so the game. So of course, what happens is people get lives and they get jobs and they get podcast shows that they do on Monday through Friday at one Eastern. And <laughs> Melanie is here every Tuesday yeah. and Thursday. They, they these games get forgotten and then yep. every once in a while we get that little itch right like mm -hmm. oh man like when wow classic came out i was like yeah i never played retail i did play classic i didn't i wasn't like a, i don't like retail i was just when i played wow it was classic and then i didn't play again for 10 more years mm -hmm. classic came back out i was like i want to play well in that window all the what did you what is your word for them um the queerdos yes queerdo. all the queerdos never left right and so they've garnered all sorts of power in these games and that's how they end up as community managers and all this yep. stuff so now a new update in old school runescape um means that you it removes gender which again is purely performative mm -hmm. adds pronouns and then now from what i understand correct me if i'm wrong Okay. It's a bannable offense to not respect someone's pronouns well, in the game. They're, they're saying that could definitely uh, 
possibly be a thing. It was brought to one of the moderator's attention on Twitter, and he was like, oh, thank you for letting me know about this. So they could potentially be entertaining that idea. One thing that makes this so egregious is that runes old school runescape i mean this is an older version of the game this is for people who want to play for nostalgia purposes right. they don't want to play the new version so for them to go back and change that is is terrible and the fact that they have this policy of hey if we're ever because they want to try to keep it intact for the fans if we're ever going to make any changes to old school runescape then we're going to put polls for the community and it has to be 70 percent or above to agree to 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 make these changes well that wasn't the case with these pronouns things they just did it anyway oh, so that makes it so much worse okay. yeah they just decided to just throw that in there anyway so now you have your oh and it lost by the way just so people know yeah it didn't even win by a lesser margin it lost the, the it said should the green pixel be removed oh no that's from the construction skill icon sorry oh, so they're showing just an example of what they normally would you do pull this but not pronouns so they never even pulled pronouns i don't yeah to my knowledge i don't even think they pulled it and so they want to just go back and and just change that make that change without even asking the fans if that is something that they would want which obviously most people are going to say no especially with old school runescape you're going to have a, a more older player base yeah. especially with classic runescape and then yeah, i saw you're in your 60s probably if you're playing I, that <laughs> yeah 60s, i mean you know? yeah. you're as old as melanie yeah. <laughs> there was this um so there so grums was tweeting about this stuff and then there was this this rando who quote tweeted and was like oh you bigoted pig this, this was already in classic runescape you could have a bearded woman so they're just going back to form and it was no. like that is not the case you could not make a female with a beard you had to use a bug in the game to change like your you had to make a change to your armor or something and then you could somehow bug the game to have a, a woman with a beard and it was uh, okay. funny if you changed your armor it was going back yeah well, right we yeah saw that back then and it was just funny when you saw somebody who did that bug it was hilarious well but, you, you weren't like that you knew they weren't like a weirdo you yeah they, they were weren't like they weren't being a weirdo of like hey yeah trans rights all this that wasn't a thing back then people made fun of of people who were cross-dressing yeah, and right. all that stuff so it was a totally different it was a joke um and it also wasn't a main thing incorporated into the game it was a bug so um so yeah people are really trying to reach any way that they can to justify this change and it's just absurd uh the fans aren't liking it i saw a number of comments on my video talking about it from people saying that's it like i'm i, I gave all my stuff away i'm done i'm not playing too, yeah. yeah i wouldn't want to either and then even with uh, another older title well not that old but still older title uh terraria they've done the same thing they've they took out the the male and female and I don't know if they actually had a pronouns, but still they took out male and female There's body types. Yeah. They, yeah. They oh, are man. trying to go back and change history and change games that have already existed to incorporate all of this queerdo ideology. It's insane. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, and if you look at even some of the tweets, right? Like, are you effing kidding me? You pull the tiniest quality of life. I don't know if that one's QAL. Is that what that means? I the think QAL update and take months to implement it. You lured players with ruinous powers last year, then scrap them at the very, very last moment, unpolled, and haven't done anything with them since. You repurpose Grandmaster Quest from RuneScape 3, but with one third of the rewards of the summon update, plus this ultra leftist policy ESG bullshit that no one was asking for or wants to save the occasionally pandering loot. This is an epic tweet. It is. Like, and this is definitely somebody that's played RuneScape. Oh, yeah. For at least 10. Oh, it says right there, well done. 18 years as a player. So, Very good. Exactly. Yeah. And like, they probably, if they've been playing for 18 years, I think it's safe to assume they're at least over 40. Right. Um, and, and like, maybe even older. Because to be honest, like, would you have started RuneScape in 20? Well, you could. I, guess I started could. in like 2000, 2001, I think, around that time. But I was playing since I was... A, a kid so well so 1800s yeah. yeah i mean yeah but yeah. i'm super old 
Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the butt of it. That's the part. Oh. Um, yeah. And I think like, again, this is just yet another perfect example of where maybe here's all you had to do, right? If these people were like, not psychos, you just say, Hey, if you want to do it, you can do it. But instead they know that their ideas are, <clears throat> are unpopular. So they, they know it wouldn't them. pass the poll. They know right. if they would have brought that. Hey, can we, what do you guys think about us changing to body types and then adding pronouns in the games? You guys want to see that? They know they would get roasted in that poll. Yeah. Nobody would want to see that. Yeah. They so. would, nobody would want it. Nobody would, nobody would vote for it. They would get made fun of hilariously all over the internet as they should. And, and ultimately now you just, they're just, people are going to quit the game. It's going to be a ghost town. They're going to shut down the servers and, and the queerdos can have another dead game. Like yep. that, that's ultimately just ask sweet baby Inc. How, how they're, um, uh, killing Batman or whatever, uh, games doing. How's, how's that game going? You get a lot of mm -hmm. queer representation in um, Suicide Squad. Uh, how's that game going? Yeah. You know, like, or, you know, like World of Warcraft. How are your numbers going? Oh, I remember when they were like, oh, we have a bunch of weirdo creep guys that work here that, um, you know, put their hands on women against their will. Yeah. Here's how we'll make up for it. We'll take all the pretty women pictures out of the game. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't, I do, I'm not a pest. No woman's right. ever said, I put my hands on them. Why am I getting... Why do I have to suffer? Exactly. And that, and like it, and then it was like that was it. I know it was so stupid and such a small thing. I was like, you know what? I'll just play Final Fantasy, where the women are, where there are attractive women in the game, and mm -hmm. like, they're, even though phew, that's dangerous, you know, Final Fantasy Online is like dangerous. Uh, you know, it's always teetering on woke, but like that's what I've been. I'll be playing it tonight. I'll probably be streaming it tonight. Right. I'm like, it's just like I just I had enough, and I still I will say, I. Final Fantasy will never replace like my first dog that died, you know, like no dog Aww. after will ever replace like, <laughs> because of when I, you know, like the time in my life when I played World of Warcraft, how cool it was, how, you know, all that stuff. And like Final Fantasy will never be that way, but it's just right. to me, it's the far superior game. And it's the game I want to spend my money on. Right. I don't want to pay um, Wizards, or I'm sorry, World of Warcraft to punish me because they have a bunch of uh, dudes that use their position of power to get laid. Right. I don't support that behavior. It's pathetic. <laughs>